Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be revisiting a potential Garden Warfare 3 leak that appeared on Twitch this week, which has turned out to be a bug as confirmed by one of the Battle for Neighborville developers. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So I want to start the discussion of this piece of news by thanking three people who have helped in finding out this news and all three just happen to be moderators on the channel. So thanks to Connor CN9Z for notifying me of the news in the comments and Masterlord for sending me the necessary screenshots. However, the biggest thanks has to go to Silver Cyclops who on his own initiative reached out to the BFN team and retrieved this information. Silver also has a YouTube channel so please go and check him out. Now, for those of you who saw my video yesterday, you will know that this week Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 3 appeared as a category on Twitch. From what I found out and discussed in my previous video, we unfortunately had no concrete information on whether this was real or not. Also, later that day, the Garden Warfare 3 category that I showcased in the video mysteriously disappeared or got taken down. But thanks to the work of the people I mentioned earlier, we now have something more official from a trusted BFN developer. And that developer is the one and only John Lunasco. For those of you who don't know who John is, he is the community manager for Battle for Neighborville, as well as the mobile marketing manager at EA. But you will likely recognize him from the BFN founders live streams. So this is where our good friend Silver comes in and to shed some light on the subject, he DM'd John on Discord and said, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 3 is now a category on Twitch. This seemed very strange to me as I know we have zero news on this game. I would like to inform you because I don't know if this is some user trolling to try to get people hyped for the game. Before we talk about this, I have to say I absolutely love just how polite Silver Cyclops is here. Like, if you want a dev to reply to you, this is definitely the way to go about it. Also, before you grab your pitchforks, I did think it would be best to show you some additional images just to confirm that this is actually John's account on Discord. And if you join the Battle for Neighborville server, you will see he is an active moderator and community manager on there. Anyway, after about 20 minutes, which I think is an amazing response time by the way, John messages back with a simple, yeah. That's a bug. Unfortunately, John doesn't actually elaborate or say anything like, no, this is not official. And whilst we can assume that by bug, he means that it's not real, it does actually leave room for interpretation. Like, I understand it's a bug, but a bug from whose end? Is it a bug on Twitch's end? Because, I mean, really, it isn't technically a bug, I guess. From what I discovered yesterday, all Twitch categories have to be approved either by one admin or 10 users on Twitch. So I'm not sure bug is the right word. Alternatively, it is a bug from PopCap's end that the information was not supposed to be on Twitch and was quickly removed. So yeah, whilst we do have confirmation it is a bug, it doesn't confirm or deny whether it was real or not. But on the other hand, I could just be reading too much into it. Overall, whatever the case, I think it's important for us to stay positively skeptical. Like, I would love this to be true, but I still feel like this would be far too early for PopCap to share anything official about any new shooter games they may or may not be working on. So like, I'm still skeptical about the news, but not in a negative way, if that makes sense. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.